let's begin with what happened in Moscow last night. English side Arsenal fought back from an early scare in Russia to qualify for the semi-final of the UEFA Europa League after playing a 2-2 draw with CSK Moscow. Leading from the first leg 4-1, the Gunners considered two first half two early goals as CSK looked for three goals to cancel the deficit. Golovin shoots from distance, check parries, it's another goal! Kirill Second half substitutions by manager Arsene Wenger changed the game for Arsenal as Danny Welbeck pulled a goal back for the Gunners and Aaron Ramsey equalised in the 92nd minute. Here's Mohamed El Nenny who's been absolutely outstanding tonight. And he's put Ramsey through. Ramsey can end it here and does. Aaron Ramsey scores again in the Europa The Gunners go through on a 6-3 aggregate score line. Elsewhere, Spanish club Atletico de Madrid held on to qualify on a 2-1 aggregate score line. Taking a 2-0 lead from the first leg, Atletico lost 1-0 to Sporting Lisbon in Portugal. There was a complete turnaround in Austria where RB Salzburg overturned a 4-2 first leg loss to defeat SS Lazio 4-1 to qualify for the semi-final on a 6-5 aggregate score. But Bundesliga side RB Leipzig could not withstand the firepower from Olympique Marseille in France. With a 1-0 win at home from the first leg in Germany, Leipzig fell 5-2 to Marseille to lose out 5-3 on aggregate. Now, back home, it is two months away from the 2018 World Cup and the Super Eagles have started flying ahead of their first match at the World Cup. The Eagles have moved up five places in the FIFA ranking for the month of April, reversing the drop of last month. The Eagles moved from 52nd position to 47th and just one step to 6th in Africa. Ahead of Nigeria in Africa is Tunisia in number one, Senegal are in number two, Congo Democratic Republic are in third place. Morocco are in fourth, while Egypt are in fifth place. But Nigeria's opponents at the 2018 FIFA World Cup, Argentina, Croatia, and Iceland dropped in the world ranking. With world champions, Germany still atop the charts. Argentina dropped from fourth to fifth place. Croatia fell from 15th place to 18th. And Iceland dropped four places to 22nd. Brazil remain in second position. Belgium moved two places up to third, replacing Portugal, who dropped to fourth. Now, following the redesign of the format, the Golden Eagle are to face at rivals Ghana and Ivory Coast in the qualifiers for the 2019 African Under-17 Cup of Nations. The Confederation of African Football Cup has designated the qualifiers will now be played on zonal bases, after which a final tournament will be staged in Tanzania. Nigeria are in Cav Zone B West, which also has Ivory Coast, Benin Republic, Niger, Ghana, Togo, and Burkina Faso. The winner of, the, of this zonal qualifiers will advance automatically to the tournament proper in Tanzania next year. Last year, Niger eliminated Nigeria from the African Under-17 tourney held in Rwanda. Most of the qualifiers will kick off after the 2018 World Cup in Russia in June. Away from football now, the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sport has rewarded at least two one medals for the country at the ongoing Commonwealth Games in Gold Coast with cash rewards. The ministry presented cash rewards to the medalists. Winners of gold medal got $5,000, silver medalists got $3,000, while bronze medalists received $2,000. The coaches of gold medalists got $5,000, and those of silver medalists received $3,000. The men's table tennis team of Shekin Toriola, Bodea, Biodun, Aziz, Jami, and Omotai Olajide got $9,000 for bagging a silver medal. The president of the Paralympic Association also gave powerlifters to who won gold extra rewards of 100,000 naira and silver medal got 50,000 each. Now, the world's fastest man, Usain Bolt of Jamaica, has arrived Gold Coast, Australia, 
as a spectator at the track and field event of the 2018 Commonwealth Games. This is the first time the multiple world record holder is attending an international athletics event in which he is not competing. Bold, who retired from athletics last year, is currently seeking a career in football and has trained with German Bundesliga side Borussia Dortmund and has taken part in some charity football games already. To the squared ropes now, former heavyweight champion Tyson Fury will return to boxing on the 9th of June against an unnamed opponent in Manchester for his first fight since 2015. Fury has not fought since claiming the IBF, WBA and WBO world titles from Vladimir Klitschko in November 2015. He was suspended in 2016 amid anti-doping and medical issues and accepted a backdated two-year ban in December. But he had his license reinstated earlier this year and has now signed with promoter Frank Warren. To the screeching surface of model sports where Louis Hamilton thinks the Shanghai circuit will make it difficult for him to take his first win of the year at Sunday's Chinese Grand Prix. Hamilton has won five of the last ten races in Shanghai, but things the track will suit Ferrari, whose driver Sebastian Vettel has won both races so far in 2018. Mercedes have won the last four races in China and five of the last six, and it is one of Hamilton's most successful tracks. He has also taken six pole positions there. Vettel has a 17-point lead after two races, in which Ferrari have twice beaten Mercedes in strategic battles. Now I will screech to a halt for sports on the Breakfast Show today, Friday. And Mike Ngozi will take you through the rest of the program.